Hi, I'm Christine from The Low Curve Planner and welcome my friend to another great cake recipe. If you're a sweet tooth and want to get to know the world of sugar-free treats, you're on the right spot my friend. Today we combine the taste of vanilla and berries and make a wonderful cake out of it. You'll get the recipe at the end of the video. Okay, let's do it! First we separate the egg whites from the egg yolks and we need 4 eggs. Take an extra cup or a bowl for the yolks. Next we're gonna beat the egg whites until frothy. I add here a bit of sweetener. You can also go with honey or stevia if you want. Next we're gonna add 200 grams, which is 2 cups of hazelnut flour. I separate it into half and really mix it slow and then just add it one at a time. You can see it starts deflating but no worries, I got a solution for that. Add 1 tablespoon of baking powder and set it aside. Next we add a mini cup, which is about 20 milliliters of lukewarm water and add it to the yolks. And I use here an electric hand mixer. We want to give it some volume. As you can see it's going to triple its volume. Now we're going to add the foamy yolk to the hazelnut mixture. If I don't want that it deflates again, so that's why I go with a spatula. Add the batter mixture onto a baking sheet. and bake it on 200 degrees Celsius, which is in the US, around about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Next we add three gelatin foils into a cup of cold water. You need a bowl and 200 green 200 grams of cream cheese and 200 grams of yogurt. You can only go with 200 grams of cream cheese because I just want the double amount because I want a lot of frosting. And add some vanilla to it and some sweetener. This will be my quick and dirty solution. Next, remove the cold water and add the soft gelatin into the back into the cup and add just only a bit of hot water so that it starts to melt, it's just like one tablespoon. Add the gelatin to the yogurt and put it aside. Mix it first and then put it aside. Next we cut the edges and let it cool down for 15 to 30 minutes. Here the baking sheet and start cutting it. I tried to be as even as I could. I cut it into four layers and just top the other parts that I have the same size. Okay, let's frost it. Now we add the yogurt, take a spoon and don't add too much, just leave some space on the edges and do that with all layers. Like I said, I wanted to be generous because I love frosting, so you can go with 200 grams. Okay, next I take frozen berries and just cook them on high heat just only for one to two minutes. Add some gelatin, I used here a gelatin pack and a bit of sweetener and stir it together pretty well. And that's it and then just put it, remove it from, the, from high heat. Give it a last finish. 
top the berries on the cake and you see it steaming because I cooled the cake in the fridge. For a super super last finish I use here unsweetened 90% chocolate. You can use a peeler like I do and just top those yummy chocolate sprinkles on top. And it's ready to serve my friends. Easy right? Give this video a thumb up and let me know what I should bake or cook for you next time. Write me in the comment section below. Okay, and like I promised, you get the recipe in the description box below or go to lowcurplanner.com and subscribe to the newsletter and you get the weekly recipe direct in your inbox. See you next Saturday, same time, same place.